Okay, it is Luxury Fred. And we are cruising today. So I get my notes together. In the uh, 2018 BMW 430i convertible. And uh, truth be told, my uh, only second time really spending an extended period of time in a BMW driving one. Uh, I had a uh, 330i coupe uh, for a couple of weeks at one point, and uh, that was my only other experience. Uh, really uh, driving a BMW, as I just make sure that we are, okay. Um, so this is actually a rental car from Nationals uh, executive level of the Emerald Club. So I'm a member of the Emerald Club and uh, since I fly a lot, sometimes I, I fly a lot and I actually live in Palm Springs, so a lot of times when I have to get back from LAX to Palm Springs, I will uh, do a one-way rental with National. They have a couple of good rates for that. And uh, as a executive level member of the Emerald Club, I can go to the, uh, the area where they have the cars and just choose whichever car I want and uh, just pay the full-size price. And so I chose this, and uh, it's quite exciting. And it's uh, a lot better than a regular rental car. It's convertible, which I'll show you later. And uh, been doing a lot of research on the uh, BMW. So again, this is the 2018 430i. Uh, they have a couple different models of the 4 Series. Um, in case you don't know, four, the 4 Series is obviously just a bigger model of the 3 Series. As BMW says, it is born from the 3 Series, and there is a 4 Series Coupe, and there's a 4 Series Convertible, which is this one, and then there's what they call a Grand Coupe, which is a four-door model of the car. Uh, it also comes in two engines. This is the smaller engine. This is the... Uh, two-liter four-cylinder it's called twin power turbo and that gets you 248 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque um, which is not quite enough to have it, it's okay you've, you've got to put the car in the sport setting so we've got the transmission it's an eight-speed sport automatic we put it on the left and that puts it in the sport setting and then there's a control here for the driving dynamics and we're in comfort and then we can go to sport and then we can go to sport plus which uh, turns off the traction traction control selectively so it's a little more aggressive uh, driving the shift points are quicker and things like that and it's a lot more fun so we've got the transmission in sport and we've got the drive setting in sport plus as well so in addition to this car there is the 440i which is the same size but that has the larger um, 320 horsepower inline six uh, price wise this car the convertible is 51,450 with lease specials at uh, $599 a month and if you want the bigger engine it's 58,500 and that goes for $689 a month. So these cars are not cheap. Uh, inside you have all the different uh, luxury and driver aids and things like that. There's a couple different package levels that you can get. There's a luxury, there's an M performance, there's, I forget what the other ones are, but they have different options kind of included in the packages. Uh, again, this is a rental car. I'm not exactly sure which packages this one has. But it's got navigation, it's got all the, again, the uh, pre-collision detection and uh, radar, cruise control and serious navigation and all that other stuff. Uh, very comfortable place to be. 
Um, I'll show you in a little bit. The top goes up and down in 20 seconds. Okay, so I'll show you the process. Putting the top up or down is easy, it takes 20 seconds, and you can do it when you're stopped or when you're traveling up to 14 miles an hour. You can see we've got the nice uh, hard kind of deck back there, and then we just do this, and then the process begins. Last step is it rolls up all the windows for you okay and you can even do it up to 14 going 14 miles an hour if you want to put the top up and down while you're driving down the street uh, I did have some issues putting the top down yesterday because it's very sensitive to anything that's in the trunk and there are only certain places that you can store stuff and there was like a little cargo net or something and it was you know obstructing where the whole thing goes so it wouldn't close properly but then once I got everything together it was fine um, definitely a, a compact feel to this uh, I was just in the Audi S5 for example and the car feels a lot bigger inside uh, than this does um, but very supportive seats very comfortable uh, I've said this before for some reason, this car has 17,000 miles, and for some reason, BMW seem to me, after they get about 15,000 miles, they lose some of that initial tightness and precision, which some might call breaking it in, but I don't like that. I like the cars to have that same precision, and uh, but you know maybe that's with any car that kind of after you break it in drove it from Los Angeles to Palm Springs very comfortable very quick you know no no real issues nice and solid on the freeway nice and straight and uh, it was a lot of wind yesterday and uh, really rock solid in the wind and then so I drove it from Los Angeles to Palm Springs and then yesterday I did a little road trip from Palm Springs to Morongo which is about uh, you know, 50 miles each way, something like that. And uh, very, very smooth and nice. And when you have it in the sports settings, uh, it really makes the most out of that 240 horsepower. And it's uh, fun to drive. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the outside of the 2018 BMW 430i convertible. Start out in its natural form with the top down. So you have nice uh, aggressive styling in the front here. Um, looks good, kind of continues the same tradition of the BMW 3 Series convertibles with the four seats, the four headrests there. Uh, again, the 4 Series is a little bit bigger than the 3 Series, so you get a little bit more room. And uh, very nice rear end as well. And again, this is the uh, 2 liter turbo. Uh, you can also get a, a inline 6 that's a little more powerful in the 440i. So that's a look the outside with the top up. Now let's see the top. I'm sorry, with the top down. Now let's see it with the top up. Okay, and like magic, the top is up. And we have the nice hard top look. Uh, this car also, as I mentioned, comes in a coupe with the two doors. It also comes in what they call a Grand Coupe which is this car with four doors as a little sedan. So now you've got a look at the outside with the top up. Nice aggressive LED headlights up front. And you can see a very nice look. 
So getting in, uh, you know, kind of got the basic BMW materials. The stuff feels rather plasticky. This is some kind of aluminum trim. Uh, and then we have a little bit of kind of, uh, I would assume it's a faux, kind of a wood grain tone there, kind of an ebony finish. Uh, power adjustable seats, very comfortable sporty seats. We've got uh, white stitching and white um, piping here that kind of sets them apart. Uh, again, this is a, got a back seat, so you just pull that up to access the back seat. Not a lot of space back here. You do have a, uh, a pass through uh, so that there is storage space even when the top is down in the trunk. Uh, they try to maximize the storage space for you. And then obviously when the trunk, the top is up like this, you have some room in the trunk and I'll show you that in a second. Uh, so again, very good uh, BMW sports seats. This also moves the seat front forward and backwards so you can help get someone into the back seat. Uh, I'll show you the trunk real quick. So the trunk uh, obviously has special space and it's interesting because the trunk lifts up as part of the uh, opening and closing process. But you have this panel here which must be in this down position. It can go up and you, you do have trunk space there. You have trunk space here and here. Although I did have something over there and it caused an error and the top wouldn't uh, retract when I had it there. So again, you do have a very large trunk space and then that is the pass through that we just opened up so that with the top up like this, you do have a lot of room. Um, but again, this needs to be in this position for the top to operate and then you shut that. So uh, inside here we have, um, excuse my ignorance, we have uh, BMW's iDrive system, which uh, I haven't used much of, but it does have new, uh, it's called realistic voice control, so that a lot of the things you can just use your voice to control. Uh, very standard kind of BMW cockpit here. Basic analog in instruments with a couple of uh, digital displays to tell you what mode you're in and what gear you're in and things like that. And I got my drone over here, but uh, you know, got your stereo here, climate control here. This is uh, traction control off, parking sensor, and this changes the drive mode. You can see we have an Echo Pro for the most fuel economy. Then we have a Comfort, a Sport, and a Sport Plus. And the Sport Plus uh, uses dynamic traction control so that traction control is not on all the time. Um, nice. Uh, digital screen up here for your the iDrive system and then you control it with this wheel and this display or this controller here uh, let's see this is your top up and down and then uh, again nice compact dash but uh, not not a huge car inside and it feels compact in a good kind of way sporty kind of way okay so that, I believe, completes the tour. So you have your uh, eight-speed sport automatic here. And then if you put it, so if we put it into drive like that, that's the sport mode and that's the regular mode. And then you just push the button to put it back into park, okay? So that concludes the tour. 2018, you got paddle shifters up here as well. 2018 BMW 430i. So, um, if you want a hardtop convertible, if uh, you want German engineering and uh, ride and performance and all that, then I think this is a good choice. Uh, Price-wise, again, under just under $60,000 is a lot, and there are a lot of cars in this price range. So. Uh, I think it's it's for people that want a specific they want a convertible they want a BMW but they also want four seats and four proper seats so that uh, when the top is up even though this only has two doors uh, you have good room for your backseat passengers and if you want to cruise around with the top down you know it's a fun four seat car to do that with 